Game Console Base. In this video, I'll be showing you uh, how to replace the PlayStation 3 Slim hard drive. The model we have here is CECH2002B. It's a 120 gig model. Uh, I've turned on the PS3, and this is the message you get every time you turn it on. It says the hard disk file system is corrupted and will be restored. So if we try to restore it, this is what happens. So I'm going to press OK. And once it's fully restored, it comes back to this screen again. So now it's basically stuck in this loop. Um, you can try recovering the file system by going to the uh, recovery menu. Uh, the easiest thing is uh, replace with another hard drive. So we'll be replacing with another hard drive and reinstalling the whole from there. Alright, let's get going. Alright, in order to open up your PS3 and replace the hard drive, these are the tools required. Uh, you need a new hard drive, a Phillips one screwdriver and a USB stick. USB stick will be placing a latest firmware files on it and then uh, installing the latest firmware. Alright, let's get going. In order to replace the hard drive, just simply flip over your console. Uh, simply unclip this and there's only one screw that needs to be removed and we can simply take out our hard drive next um, this clip move to this side it's quite a filthy dry so what are we gonna do we're gonna take it off clean it up and place a new hard drive so that's our hard drive case, we'll be placing the new hard drive in it and installing the new firmware. Alright, now that we have our old hard drive out, grab your new one. What we'll be doing, we'll be uh, taking the old hard drive from this case and placing the new one on into the new case. All you need is just remove these four screws, take off the hard drive and place the new one. So that's our old hard drive, take it out, grab the new one and put back the four screws. Next we'll be placing the hard drive in the PS3 system. Alright, let's place the hard drive in the PS3. Simply. Slide it in. Put back the case. And put back this screw. Next, uh, grab the latest uh, PS3 firmware files on a USB stick and install the new firmware. Now I'll be showing you a way to grab the latest uh, firmware files, place it onto a USB stick and connect the USB stick to your PS3 and install it. Uh, step 1, simply connect your USB stick to your PC. Uh, I've got a 4 gig stick. Uh, it's detected. Step 1, format into FAT32. Quick format. Once complete, open up your browser and go to this link. Uh, this, the current and the latest update is 4.11. Let's grab this one. I agree and download and save it into your USB stick. Create a folder first, P PS3. In that folder, create another folder, update. And save the firmware file in there.
all right it's downloading it's gonna take three minutes I'm gonna pause the video and once complete I'll be back all right we're almost there it's complete uh, simply disconnect your 4 gig or whatever stick you have and place it into your PS3 USB port once you have uh, connected your new hard drive and turned on your PS3 uh, this is the screen you'll be presented with all you need to do connect to your controller uh, using a USB cable and place your USB stick in the PS3 slim USB port as well that contains the 4.11 update data okay as it says on the screen simply press your PS button uh, it says the system software cannot be done correctly it needs to format the partition and the hard drive okay press start and select buttons okay it uh, it needs our hard drive needs to be formatted so in order to format uh, press and hold start and select button uh, for five seconds it's going to format it may take few minutes uh, I'm going to pause the video I'll be back once all complete the formatting is complete and we'll the system will restart and you'll be presented with this screen again press the PS button on your controller accept and press X in order to install 4.11 firmware this may again take few minutes uh, once all complete I'll be back once complete the system will restart again and you'll be presented with this screen once again press the PS button on your controller I'm just going to use um, any settings here so okay we have successfully replaced the hard drive and reinstalled the firmware as well thank you